Okay, so that's um, a large scale um, simulation of an urban scenario. I have to say we, we have already um, done uh, a consider considerable amount of work on this uh, large scale urban scenario. Uh, it's, uh, it's basically a rush hour simulation of, uh, of Bologna. And, uh, but I, I, I'm not going to, to talk about all the, the, the steps to, to generate this scenario. It, um, what we have been trying to do is to, to apply platooning, um, the platooning module, uh, the, the simpler module. And, and we, we try to figure out basically what, what uh, happens um, in terms of um, uh, travel speeds and uh, trip times, um, but trip times not only to, to the cars themselves, but also to other traffic uh, participants. Because it's a, it's a multimodal simulation, so we simulate also um, uh, yeah, bicycles and, and um, pedestrians. Uh, we also had a look at the energy and fuel consumption, of course, because we were interested in, um, you know, what is the price that we pay for, for this uh, platooning in terms of, in terms of um, energy consumption. Yeah, uh, first of all, so a little bit of theory. Um, so what, what do we expect, actually? Uh, so in the in the ideal world, uh, if we do platooning, we can we could increase um, capacity in the in the following way. Uh, well, what what you see here in this equation is is the basically a um, a minimum safe distance headway, where you have a reaction time, an emergency brake uh, deceleration, and a failure deceleration. So the worst case failure deceleration. And the length of the vehicle, and that's the speed. So, so this is then if if you put in this equation, and n, yeah, n is the number of the platoons of the vehicles in a platoon. And so, yeah, th this is this is what you 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 can theoretically ob obtain. And then you see here, uh, as you increase the number of the uh, vehicles in a platoon, you can increase the the, the capacity. This is, uh, as I said, it's the ideal case in a freeway, no intersections, and um, yeah. So what we were interested in, in how how does it look like in the in the real world, uh, in a real application, and uh, this is why we were trying to do. So that that's the that's the network we were. Uh, looking at it's um, yeah there is a core area that this is what you can see here is roughly 50 square kilometers and uh, here we uh, had a, um, a virtual population so our synthetic population so we we, we are simulating uh, house or door-to-door -door, uh, trips really with uh, with all kind of uh, modes and um, we also have a larger metropolitan area. You cannot see that, that's, that's much bigger that we, we modeled. Uh, let's say we ha had a, a, um, a simplified model where, where each city was basically a, a node. And uh, so um, we, we used that to simulate the external traffic or the through traffic uh, through, through Bologna. Yeah, these are just to get some ideas of the, the dimensions or six, roughly 60,000 uh, edges, uh, 14,000 junctions, 430 traffic lights. Uh, yeah, Bologna is a traffic light city. <laughs> so there, there are many traffic lights and also very complicated traffic lights. Um, most of the traffic lights were uh, active, uh, uh, actuated traffic lights and um, yeah, well, especially the, the bigger intersections were actuated. We, uh, the uh, the biggest traffic lights we actually got from the uh, uh, from the city of Bologna, uh, the 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 faces and others we we kind of estimated and we uh, on some complicated traffic lights we we actually went there and and measured the the faces. Yeah, how to how was this then already built? In a few words, uh, we um, uh, used an old uh, auto D matrix. Uh, uh, auto D matrix that there was there, there was no other. 
Um, actually, the, um, the population census from 2011 uh, didn't contain any more the destination. <laughs> Uh, so we, we had to use this one and we updated it according to the, the population in different uh, city quarters. Um, the uh, local public transport operator puts uh, uh, the GTFS, uh, so the uh, German uh, transit file system uh, uh, online. So we could just download it and generate all the public transport lines. Um, we have also GPS traces from bike traffic. Uh, this is recorded uh, on a volunteer base on a, in, in some campaigns. Uh, this is, of course, not covering all the, the, the cyclists in Bologna, but we have also, uh, um, we did also many, many uh, counts, bicycle counts in different sections. So we, we used them to calibrate the um, GPS traces or we, we upscale basically the, the bicycle traffic with the, with the traffic counts. Um, yeah, we have, of course, uh, information on the, on the uh, vehicle ownership uh, to, to make sure that this is realistic. And then, um, yeah, we did some rel uh, relaxation exercises. Uh, yeah, this is for the, for the virtual population so that uh, let's say the people living close to a bus stop will really use the bus and others uh, use rather the car. And so that, 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 that makes the whole uh, population a bit more realistic. And then we use the dynamic user equilibrium to, um, yeah, to calibrate the, the flows. Um, yeah, this is the link to the uh, to the um, uh, paper that where we explain that a little bit more in, in detail. Yeah, and this this was the, the kind of validation. It's um, yeah, where, where you see here, here are the measured flows here, are the simulated flows. It's not great, I'd say. Um, uh, R square of zero point six, um, but however, the, the the let's say this the slope is is close to one 0.98 so uh, so in average we, we kind of got the same flows as, as you can measure them and um yeah the, the r squared is 0, 0 0.6 so it's it's not great uh, but however on on the major uh, roads we have 0 0.7 so yeah it's it's not great, but it's it's not bad either. So uh, yeah, we were confident to to have some something that is let's say uh, not not completely unrealistic. Let's put it like that. Yeah. So to 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 what we did now is we we assumed a hundred percent connected autonomous vehicles. Uh, why why did we do that? We 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 just wanted to know if. If everything is, is automated, if we have platoons uh, everywhere, wherever it's possible, um, what, what gains uh, could, we, uh, could we achieve? You know, so we, we were going for the maximum to see what, what can we achieve. And um, yeah, so what, what were the, the, the technical details of the of the simulation how did we create the platoons we used uh, simpler as i as i've mentioned um, we did some smaller modification to the module uh, so we we only started the platoon if uh, the the common route was um, uh, larger than 500 meters uh, otherwise, we, we, we got too much uh, platoon creation and then splitting and that, that kind of um, disrupted the, the traffic and sometimes led to, to deadlocks, in, especially in roundabouts. There were big problems with roundabouts, uh, platoon through roundabouts. And then we also required that um, there is a, that, that the route between two vehicles that, that want to, to join um had to have uh, three three uh, edges in common at least at least three edges and yeah uh, regarding the car follower model we use the standard Krauss model for a leader and just like for for any other vehicle and for the um uh, followers we use the um, 
um, the follower model for the connected automated vehicles car follower model from Schledover that is already a uh, part of for, part of sumo so uh, we just use that yeah um of course there there we, we uh, be, be, even before starting the simulation we we um uh, had uh, or we realized that there are some some severe limitations uh, so we were not successful in uh, in using the subplane model so when when we use the subplane model we had regular uh blocks like like vehicles just uh, stopped and waited for for the teleport so that that kind of this you know disrupted the, the traffic too much and um yeah there the the communication links between the, this connected automated vehicle is, is not explicitly modeled so um yeah that that may be um lead to some unrealistic effects because there, there are uh, no delays between the, the actual measured uh, position speed and and uh, and when they actually start to use this information to control the speed um yeah there are uh, questions uh, of course uh, regarding then the the dynamics uh, so the, these two points are obviously they are um, uh, related uh if the communication model is, is not perfect then you may have uh, uh, dynamics that are unrealistic and that may uh, also affect the stability so uh, in, in fact the uh the, the simpler platoon modeling showed always uh, stable platoons so there were never any any kind of instabilities that may also be a uh, um a uh, an effect of this reduced model because there, there are no jerks involved in the in the model, so it's only a third order model. Um, yeah, uh, stability of course is is a is a is an issue that that we 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 just didn't look at. We we assume that you you can <laughs> make it somehow stable. Um, uh, especially there, there, there are ways to, to make it stable. For example, if the leader is communicating its speed and uh, position to all vehicles simultaneously, instead of uh, a, a chain type of uh, propagation of, of information. So that there are ways to, to stabilize it, uh, but we, we, we just assume that they are somehow stable. So the, 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 the scope of the project was not to, to investigate stability of platoons, but rather than uh, what what effect would they have on the city. Yeah, so these are these are the numbers. Um, yeah, what so these, these are the values, the, the legal type values of the of the leader and this is of the followers, uh, which is similar than to the, to the catch up followers. Um, what 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 strikes here is um is the the speed factor of two so uh, that that means that that follow follower vehicles can can go up to two um two times the allowed speed that may seem to be uh, in realistic irrealistic and may, maybe it is in in certain cases um but what we, we were trying to achieve is to say Okay, follower, you can you can go any speed you want. Just you know, follow. Try to to or try to catch up to the platoon and 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 follow. But in in reality, um, the, it's not that that they they were always doing twice the, the allowed speed. I mean, because they were close already close to the to the platoon and uh, um, yeah, so. It was just a way to say, okay, uh, we, we try whenever it's possible to to make a platoon in order to to get the maximum possible effect of uh, the platoons. Yeah. So uh, regarding the results, uh, what I, I I actually uh, prepared a little video. Uh, there we go. Um, so you, you see first a um, this is a, a freeway uh, around uh, around uh, Bologna, and here you see the the platoon formation. Uh, here, for example, you see these 
Okay, you see the leaders in, in red and the catch up uh, follow, followers in, in, um, in green and catch up followers in blue. So that these catch up followers try to, uh, to join a platoon. And th these guys have actually uh, um, are, are pretty fast here to, uh, to, catch, um, to catch up the, the, the platoon, especially on, on these freeways where you have the spaces, where you have the distances also. So here the, um, uh, the, the maximum speed is, is really uh, used to, uh, to, uh, to catch up. Here, for example, you, you see it like uh, that the, all these, these vehicles are, are um, trying to run faster. But yeah, and so here they, they have the space. While in, in, the, in the city center, uh, as you see here, uh, there, there are also platoons and it looks quite nice, but um, you should realize that, that also in the, in the normal traffic, uh, uh, vehicles are very close to each other. They, they seem to be very close to each other, but that, that's an optical effect because I, uh, that the vehicles are twice as big as, um, as, um, as usual, uh, as normal, so um, that they look, look a bit closer. But what I, what I wanted to say is, uh, sorry, I got uh, the wrong video. Uh, what I wanted to say is that um, um, the in also in normal operation without platooning, the, the distance between vehicle or the headways are quite short. So they're, they're around two seconds. And so the effect of platooning in, in these kind of areas is, is a little bit lower. Um, what you see here is that, uh, maybe it's a bit later, um, that you see there are some, some bicycles on the, on the, uh, on the lanes and, and they were slowing down the, uh, yeah, here you can see the, the, the bicycle here. So they're, they're slowing down the cars and this is, this is unrealistic clearly because here we would need the sublane model where this uh, traffic is more realistic. But uh, as I said, it, 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 it doesn't, it just doesn't, doesn't work very well with the, with the platooning. Okay, this is uh, more or less what I wanted, wanted to show. Um, I interrupt that here. You have one minute left. Uh, yes. And just, just the warning. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the warning. Um, I'm, I'm already at the results. So, um, I want you to see here. There is the, the the trip duration actually with with platooning has been six six percent um, six percent less, and uh, the waiting time has, has also been less. So there has been a, um, a quite an effect on the on the um, uh, waiting time as well as on the on the on the on the speed here. So there there have been increases. But this is what we expected. What you can see here is the speed increase on the external traffic is, is quite more than the speed increase on the, on the virtual population, which is more the, the city center. So this, this was also the main uh, thing what, what, what we have seen. So um, the, uh, the average speed, the average overall, it's around uh, 6% and 2% uh, in, um, in the core areas. The um, average uh, calves have a very, very limited uh, effect on the, on the bikes, but uh, we have seen the bikes are a bit uh, not, not modeled in the, in the correct way. The scooters uh, can profit of the higher speeds of the catch-up vehicles, so also they had a higher speed. And um, the high average speed of, of uh, calves is also responsible for, for a higher fuel consumption. You, you haven't seen here the results, but in the paper you can see them. Okay, um, again, uh, speed gain is um, a few percent, uh, can only be achieved with, uh, with these uh, extreme uh, parameters that you have seen. So, uh, Maybe, maybe what um, let's say with realistic assumption, the, the, the gains are are not so significant. What uh, we we have seen is is instead that in order to to get more out of the platooning, we need um, special strategies for merging on freeways, and we also need absolutely to 
adapt the traffic lights system or uh, 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 vehicle to uh, to ground communication in order to exploit the formation of platoons. Okay, thanks for your attention. <laughs>